All right, we're back. We killed another evil alien guy. And it was actually kind of cool. This dude was like giant. Jeez, what took you so long? That was supposed to be an easy one. No, it was easy. It took like 15 minutes. We just stopped for burgers after and the line was really long. Aside from that, everything went smoothly. Yeah, nothing goes down smoother than the blood of a freshly cocked bounty. No matter how much they beg for their life. I don't care. Oh yeah, he did beg for his life. A lot. That sort of thing doesn't really register with me anymore. Military training, you know. Dulled my empathy levels. Yeah. We're all very happy you're ignoring your traumas. Now go turn in your bounty at the Bounty 5000. In other news, it's the two-year anniversary of the day a fearless human bounty hunter teamed up with a band of motley gadlians to take down the entire G3 cartel. How uh, was that bounty anyway? We haven't done anything really big and exciting since the G3. Except maybe that Colonel Weather. Time we had to blow up Evil Earth. <sighs> yeah, I know what you mean. It's just the same shit every time. Stab this, knife that. You know, I'm just. I think I'm depressed. I think the first time, the first adventure was better anyway. I don't know if we can top that. Ah, hey, Knifey. That reminds me, someone tried to drop off a package for you. A package? For me? Knifey? The knife? Yeah, I didn't answer the door because I don't have legs. I didn't want to. Hey, left a note, though. It's on the fridge. In the fridge, Bounty Hunter! Now! Another episode of Which One Is It? I've got two contestants today. Let me have a sneaky gaze at that letter. <laughs> hmm. Greetings from Muxalon Delivery Services. Blah, 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 blah. Sorry we missed you. Yada, 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 yada. You can pick your package up at our distribution headquarters. Yeah, shut up. Wait a tick. The sender. It's from... Bounty Hunter! We have to get that package! Now! Hey, you better hurry, then. Muxalon HQ is a mobile facility. I bet they're stationed on Paroxys for a few cycles if they're delivering packages in this quadrant. I guess I'll just stay... Uh, uh, punching the package as a new bounty. Uh, but that's the... That's the only way I know to do this. Get ready, Hunter! Time for our greatest adventure yet! Mine! Knifey's big break! Take us to the Bounty 5K! Can you believe it's been two years since you started bounty hunting? Now look at you, a hero for saving all those humans and taking down the G3. And more importantly, you're famous. Gene, my god, you do not have to say that every single time we get back from a mission. Hey, hey, I don't do it for you, I do it for me. Every day the darkness in my mind grows. Soon, it will all be black. Until then, I'm gonna enjoy my life mentoring the heroes who took down the G3 cartel two years ago and their new friend, Harper. See? Easier than Sudoku. Do this. What's our target? Just like a cardboard box or something? Yeah, G.I. Jane, a fucking package. But if I'm right, it's my ticket back to my home world. Let's go! Let's start this DLC, you bloody legends! Knifey! Your mission is to help me find a tiny little box with my name on it. Now go, have fun. Hey you, welcome to Proxis. Let me greet you. <laughs> Seriously, get over here. Okay, thanks for letting me greet you. Greetings. Was that so hard? <laughs> oh, whoa. You sound really sick. Are you okay? I assure you, I'm fine. Welcome to Proxis. <laughs> Here you'll find a quaint planet full of whimsy and artisanal charm. And you best make sure to check out the crown jewel of Proxis, Salt Lake City, famous for... <laughs> Just give me a minute. Ah, oh, shut up! How do we get to Muxlon HQ? I've got me a package that needs slicing open. Oh, the big fancy ship out yonder. I'm sure you've seen it. Not so easy to get to as you might think, surrounded by toxic water. 
Only the duffel will go in and out of there. Maybe Sam down at the ranch can help you. Fine! Where's this ranch? Eh, it's a bit of a hike from here. Couple islands over. Maybe head over to town first and get your bearings. You seem really sick. Are you sure you're okay? I feel like you're probably dying. Oh, you think I'm sick? What, because of all the coughing and dry eating and the sharp and bearable stomach pain and the blood in my piss? Well, let me tell you. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm not sick at all. And if I was, I'd just eat more salt. Us slugs love salt. We eat it every day so we don't get any more sick. It's our foolproof slug plan. All right, yeah. Tell us about Salt Lake City. Come on, give us the whole deal. Crossroads of the Western Corkscrew Nebula. What's known for the beautiful and sacred native Paroxian culture and art. And it still is! <laughs> also, it's absolutely covered in salt. Full of friendly sluggy faces like mine. We're all sick all the time. <laughs> Just a bunch of friendly sick slugs. That's what makes Salt Lake City so great. Enjoy your... <laughs> <laughs> Do you mind if I cut this answer short? I need a minute. Oh yeah, go on ahead. I need a minute anyway. <laughs> hey, hand over your values. You okay, well you're shooting at us already. That's just to hand our stuff over before shooting at us, maybe. parts for years now. No clue why, I'm sure it'll let up soon. Just gotta keep up the old salt regimen. Nothing that tastes that good can be bad for you. <laughs> Okay, so here's something you actually might not know about Moxalon Shipping Company. They repurpose Sam Schnott's old Duffalo Ranch to be their own proprietary cargo transport system. And when you think about the logistics there, that's really impressive. Greetings, I am beckoning you. You are beckoned. Do not disrespect my beckoning. Oh my god, you want to play collector, the allocating with me, for real? Please, let me give you a card to welcome you to our community. Wow, thank you. A cool nerd card. Great. Love it. Now people are going to think I'm a nerd. Don't overthink it. Just get a full set of nine cards and come back here so we can play. It's such an amazing game full of rewarding depth and beautiful art. You play as a powerful and rich wizard entrepreneur obsessed with amassing a giant collection of the multiverse's rarest and most powerful creatures. And you battle them to destroy other magic trillionaires collections and naturally defend your own I know it sounds amazing just find some way of calming yourself down like I do otherwise you might get too excited oh boy I'm getting too excited right now I gotta calm down oh, oh holy shit go get that full set of cards and come back here I need to play so bad mind the speed limit Salt! 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 It's every- 
You must be here to learn about salt. Ah, salt! Those yummy little crystals that have been with you, surrounding you, since the day you were born and will be with you until the day you die. Why would salt hurt you? It's family. Haven't you noticed salt is a little dangerous to slugs? Careful, I can sue you for making such dangerous insinuations. Nice town, lots of fun, but well, we got our fill, yeah? Time to move on and find my package. Get up, get up, watch it! I'm gonna need you to slow down. Oh, sorry. Yeah, what's the problem here? You're going way too fast there. Just trying to keep our streets safe for everyone. We? We is in the Royal We. We're the stopwatchers. We got agents all over watching the speeds of local travelers, and if they exceed what we deem a safe velocity, we ask you to stop. I'll let you off with a warning for now, but keep an eye on your foot movement from here on out. Thanks. Uh, okay. If you're in hey there, you sure as heck picked a good time to visit Peroxis. It's gorgeous this time of year, as you can plainly see, and you got here right after tourist season. Can I suggest some beautiful local spots to check out while you're in town? Yeah, sure, that could be fun. Amazing! Well, let's see. There's the Crash Ship, Hookbug Bay, the French Spires, of course, and, uh, oh, Sparkler's Grotto! Oh! Sparkler's Grotto! That's a good one! You'll need this postcard here to find it! On the island where Toxo's taking his big old bath, you can find this amazing cave full of crystals. Sounds magical, no? Hmm. I guess we'll have to see for ourselves. How about this for a slice of local charm? Hookbug Bay is real nice this time of year. Take a trip and enjoy the unique fauna. Hook bugs. Here, have a postcard to find it. Hook bugs aren't exactly unique to Proxis, but okay, sure, dude. You have to see the French spires. Take this postcard. You'll get the idea fast. They're named that way because they remind us of two snails kissing with tongue. <laughs> and there's a planet called France. Little inside a secret there, where they kiss with tongue. I've seen it myself. Ooh, I gotta try that. Seeing the big rocks, I mean. I've done kissing before. It rolls. I love it. How about you pop over to the site of the old crash spaceship? Give her a gander. Take this postcard to show you the way. Oh, a crashed ship sounds fun. If they're mine or not, space drink and space drive. You know what? I like this place. This would be paradise for these slugs, if it weren't covered in salt. Hey there, hot stuff! Why don't you come on down and learn Peroxo Squash from the hottest coach on Peroxis? Oh, shit! You're not a slug. Sorry, I'm not wearing my glasses. I thought you were a sylph from far away. Not gonna explain what that stands for. Oh, please. I know what sylph stands for, okay? Look, you're not my usual type, but I'll still teach you Peroxo Squash if you're interested. I'm a pretty good coach. You got something to launch balls with? Uh, I don't think so. Maybe we got something in the lost and found in for you. Go dig around in there and take whatever you find. Then I'll teach you the ropes. Oh, who are these little fuckers? Oh, that's ball. It's an acronym, I forget what it stands for. But they operate the gun for you and shoot out balls, so there you go. Doesn't need to stand for anything, just shoots balls. You ready to learn how to use it? I'll teach you. Alright, game's easy enough. Just use ball and try hitting those targets. Go on, give it a try.
Now try taking ball out for a real spin. Play ball! So squat, baby. Let's go! Ah! 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 so I can just talk, whatever, and nobody forgets I'm part of the team, ever.
look at that big fella. Bet he can help us. And if he can't, well, I bet he's real nice to stab. Ah, oh, remember that? I do that too. Give it my ears. Did you ever look at the return address? It was sent from my home planet. But those good for nothing mucks along delivery fuck smudge the full coordinates. <laughs> yeah, fine, I don't know how to get home, you got me. I woke up on planet one night after a bunch of bills and I never found a way back. But oh fuck, I miss it. A whole planet full of knives just like me. It's a fucking paradise, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, get stuck! That's exactly why I want to get home! None of you sick fucks even get me! You don't understand me! of tiny things, you know? That's just my feelings on the matter. Just happy to share. Ah, feels good to talk. Hey there, buddy. Welcome to my back. Oh my god, look at this big chunky boy. You think he can help us? You, big boy, quit lazing around and help us get to Muxlon HQ. Oh, hello there, friends. Did you say you need help getting to Muxlon? Oh, 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 baby, I can absolutely help you. No doubt. It'd be my damn pleasure, in fact. You just gotta do me one little favor first. Oh, yeah? And what's that? All you gotta do? Join me in this delicious bath and take a freaking load off. Oh, come on, I can tell you're a bit high strung. No offense. Come on. Oh, fuck you. I'm not fucking high strung. No hard man, friend. Just suggesting a nice bath. A little break to recharge. Then I'll help with whatever you need. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, friend. Oh, just get in the bath, Betty, Hunter. <laughs> See? Oh, got the neck feel great. <laughs> I'll just give it a minute. Stay in there a little bit longer, and then I'm gonna help you with your problem. Yeah, just do it. What a bunch of babies. Oh, yeah. I'm really enjoying this bed with you, buddy. Really enjoying it, I'm not shinsei. Hey there, Sudo here. I'm gonna go ahead and give you a little God of War style tip that just gives the whole puzzle away. Go ahead and shoot those parasites on Toxo, and that'll give you help to deal with you. Stay in the back for a while. Whoa, I'd get on the back. Come on, don't be rude. Do what the big man says, come on! Oh, wait. I'm not big. Look, it's a simple thing, okay? I just want to... Oh, God, get in my head! That's great, but I'm not helping you take some with me for a while, okay? I'm glad we're on the same page. Let it wash over you like a thick, hot rain. Oh, sweet kiss. Now that was a bad. Yeah, yeah, we did your little bath. Now help us out. Yeah, hold up, just real quick. Can you clean the rest of these parasites off me? I, I just can't reach them. Ah, you fucking... Fine. I guess we're just gonna keep doing what this guy wants us to do, Bounty Hunter. That's what, that's what this seems to be now. Come on, I just lit up those parasites. There's not too many. <laughs> Ah, the 
They're just so itchy. Uh, I can't reach. Just real quick, trim up, please. Trim up. Long HQ, right? Sure, sure, one second. I, I just, um, you know, I'm a little embarrassed to ask, but can you clean a few more of those parasites off me? There's a whole bunch in my bag. Just head around. Uh, are you fucking kidding me? Look, I'm gonna help you. I said I'm gonna help you. I'm gonna help you. I'm not a liar. You can trust me. It's just this one thing. Just do it. And, and if you don't mind, please don't take too long. I get a little self conscious about my body. Especially my rear. Fucking hell, I swear to God, you're... Uh, fine, we'll do it. We'll clean you back. And then you'll help us. Of course, absolutely. Batman's promise. Thank you. I mean, and please, don't judge my body. Trust me. But, gosh, I really need you to clean off my ass. Right through this cave here, please. No, no way. No more. We've done enough. Look, I get it. You have. And I appreciate that. But uh, just clean my ass first. I won't be able to concentrate on helping you until my ass is clean. Jesus fucking Christ. Just do it, Benny Hunter. Let's just get this over and done with. Just do it. Oh, you're a freaking angel. You know that? <laughs> you really are. Well, my ass is right through that tunnel. Just head down there and bang. There it is, huge ass. Can't miss it. It's... But just don't spend too much time looking at it, okay? I'm self-conscious. Just get in and get out. No need to linger. There's nothing down there, right? It's just my ass. <laughs> it's not like it's some sort of public spectacle. Just respect it. so much. Hey, good luck down there. Cleaning my ass. Through a cave to a butt takes everything you got. Taking a break from an assless life sure would help a lot. Wouldn't you like to see an ass? Sometimes you want to go where you can drink under an ass. And it's a parody of cheers. Sorry that last part didn't rhyme, just wanted 
to mention Cheers. Just making sure you know this is a Cheers parody. Also, Frazier's in this one, too. We didn't even ask. We're just using Frazier illegally. So tell me, how's the wife doing, Gorm? Well, Zam, if I knew that, maybe she'd stop yelling at me to listen to her better. Well, I'll be, if it isn't our old friend the bounty hunter. Sure you have! You guest starred on season 2, episode 6, and it's season 4, episode 17! Come over here! Let's all take a shot with the big shot! You know, a man who listens is very attractive to most women. Uh, sorry, Cyan. Can you repeat that? <laughs> she says guys gotta glisten nowadays if they wanna get chicks. Sheesh. You got any baby oil I could rub on myself then, Zam? <laughs> sorry, Gorm. I just used the last drop we had back here. I'm getting lucky tonight! Ugh, men. <laughs> you know, I was reading some Foucault the other day that suggests women slugs are attracted to shiny man slugs because of the similarity and thus welcomed familiarity to their own glistening wet undercarriages. I don't think my wife's undercarriage has ever been any of those things, Doc. <laughs> Go on, big shot. Take a shot! <laughs> What's wrong? Huh? Pretty good, right? All our liquor comes from my own dripping, so if you like the taste of that, then you like the taste of me. We all love the taste of you, Zam! <laughs> Speak for yourselves! <laughs> Hey, what's taking you so long? Thug arm, you old sack of sponge. How'd it go? I like you. I like you. I got a little tight. It's tight. I don't know. I just wanted to sound like I had something good going on. Listen, my friend. We just got to do something chill. Uh, Bounty hunter. All right, we, we did it. The clean his eyes. Now let's try to destroy this fucking ring down here. Is that you? Are you back? Oh my god, you did it. You really cleaned my ass. That's insane, you did that for me. Seriously. I would have just helped you earlier, but I wanted to see how desperate you were. Oh man, you just cleaned a giant guy's ass. Are you serious? We, we were being nice to you. Can you please just help us? Yeah, okay, sorry. Calm down. I got you. Don't worry about it. Let me just toss you to the next island. What do you say?
that rancher how to get into Maxlon from here. Oh, Elizabeth, poor thing. Oh, hey there, folks. The name's Sam Schnuck. You came at a bad time and, hey, wait a minute. You're one of those poachers, aren't you? Just leave me alone. You already roughed up poor Elizabeth here, the runt of the litter. And for what? Just to steal some cargo from her belly? I don't believe you. You look like a poacher to me. I can smell the blood and violence on you. The duffalo can, too. They can sense that kind of thing. Beautiful creatures. Look, we're not fucking poachers, all right? What if we kill all the real poachers? Would you believe us then? What kind of mind games are you playing at? You really expect me to believe you're gonna go up to your big fancy poacher base on that rock spire over there and kill all your friends? <laughs> yeah, right. You're just as twisted as your leader, that blasted poacher king. Get lost and keep your hands off my prize devil -o. Don't worry, bounty hunter. We can change his mind. And these poachers sound very stabbable. Take out these poachers, we'll be one step closer to Muxlon. Don't fuck it up. Hey, we've got intruders! Let the bomb They're standing between me and my package! Again, uh, maybe you forgot this, but Gus can shoot giant discs from his body. They're uh, uh, they launch. They, they launch right out of his body. Uh, uh, There's a button to do that. Just go ahead and it's the, the trick hole. Out of his trick hole, it shoots big discs. Very cool. You can use it to climb stuff or attack enemies. It's all you. You get it. You remember. I don't need to explain all this. You got it. <laughs>
pseudo again. I'm just gonna give you a little hint. I know you don't, uh, maybe, maybe don't want to hear a hint, but too bad. I've already started talking, so you're gonna have to get one. Uh, maybe you can use ball to plug up that geyser hole. <laughs> just uh, spell it out clear as day. That's what you gotta do here. See how you're feeling. I, I know she's been gone for a while, and those rumors, uh, well, it's, it's just not what I expected from her. At least she's making a name for herself. Uh, so, yeah, let me know if you ever want to talk about it. Not now, obviously, since you can't respond to me. This is a one-way call. I designed it that way so you couldn't tell me to stop talking to you. That would break my heart. Uh, so, uh, I'm just going to keep calling you and assuming you're cool with it. Love you, kid. You already know how to do, but I'm gonna tell you anyway, deal with it. Those little nests over there, if you launch one of creatures, little kids inside of that nest, it's gonna rustle things up and a hook bug's gonna pop out. And you can use the hook bug, you can tether onto it with knifey, uh, just spelled out the whole fucking thing for you, so nothing left for you to solve or figure out. You got it, you got it all handed to you on a silver platter, you dumb, you, no, sorry, sorry. No, you are better than that. I don't mean to insult you. Have, have just, you play things at your own pace. If you forgot how to do the creature nest, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna shame you. I don't care. I think it's cool. I think it's cool that you forgot. That's great.
killing ants again.
The beers you've taken are by men. That wasn't very nice. I hope you're ready to face Jakey Donuts, the monstrous potion king! Holy shit. Are you a human too? Uh, you're kidding me. The boss is a human? Oh my god. What a crazy misunderstanding. I would have had my men attack you if I knew you were human. Wow, it's been ages. They they said you're gonna be a monster. You're not you're not a monster. Oh! Yeah, no. None of these ants have ever seen a human before. They were terrified of me. Thought I looked gross. Let me be their boss if I promise not to kill them. So what can I do you for? We're obviously not gonna kill you, but you gotta promise to stop poaching Duffalo. Oh, totally. That's all finished. You have my word. Because, well, you know, you killed all my poachers. But also, I'm just over it. And hey, as an apology, take some of my poppers on the house. Yeah, we use these to loosen up the duffalo and steal all the cargo muxalon stuffs inside them. But you can use poppers for other stuff, too. I sure do. So, what else can I help you with? Did you say Poacher King? How'd that happen? Oh, look, it's nothing that crazy. I came out here on vacation with my boyfriend and we got in a huge fight, so I stormed out to the salt flats, met some ants who were terrified of me, they treated me like their god, I uh, bossed them around and told them to find me treasures and doodads. So they started poaching duffalo, and we figured out the trick with the poppers, yada yada yada. Suddenly I'm the Poacher King. Well, you know, not anymore thanks to you. But uh, I mean it. This wasn't the life for me. And I miss Carl. I think it's time I head home and try to make amends. Okay, I can tell these other morons don't know, so explain to them what else you can use poppers for. Oh, that's sort of a if-you-know-you-know you know thing. Hey, Poacher King, you know how we can get into Muxalon HQ? Oh, great question. Yeah, uh, we came up with a plan for that, actually. I eh, figured it was too risky, though. The gist of it was, use the poppers to loosen up the duffalo, then climb inside, and let it smuggle you into Muxalon HQ on its return trip. Pretty genius, right? Hey, they don't call me the Poacher King for nothing. Oh, okay, that just might work, actually. Uh, see you around, I guess. Old Jiggy Donuts will be leaving soon for his next big adventure. Who knows where this crazy galaxy will take him next? Get fucking impatient. Let's head back to the rancher and see what these poppers can do. Oh, hello again, friend. Hope you're having a good adventure. Hey! It's you again. Uh, just, uh, got lonely over here and, uh, wanted to uh, say hello. Guess I kind of run out of stuff to watch on TV. A little bored. <laughs> and, uh, not in a depressing way, like, uh, oh, I just sit here doing nothing waiting for you to come home. <laughs> don't, don't feel bad about leaving me here or anything. I, I don't need your pity. I just have no goddamn clue how I sincerely express that I miss you, so I'm making it weird and trying to guilt trip you or something. I, sorry. Yeah, just, uh, uh, good luck out there. Oh, great. Not you again. Don't worry, you're not gonna have to deal with any more poachers. We killed them all. Oh my god, I can smell it. The blood of a hundred poachers. You really turned on your own people and killed them all? For me? We keep telling you we were never poachers. Oh my god. But we did kill them all, yeah. Mostly. Their leader turned out to be super nice. Another human, just like our bounty hunter, if you can believe it. Well, that's great news! And Elizabeth here's feeling a lot better, too. Just about ready to send her back to Muxalon. Oh, gosh, thanks so much for all your help, even if you are a filthy poacher. Go ahead and let me know if there's anything I can do to thank you. Yeah, you can do something. Let us climb inside your duffalo. I'm sorry, what's that now? We're about the poppers, bounty hunter. It's time to get dirty. Muxel on HQ, here we come! <laughs> 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 <laughs>